Mark Sconti, incidental journalist, incidental whistleblower. I don't know what I am. <laughs> Plaintiff in Conti vs. DSNY. Post knocking his skin off the ball this weekend. December 9 again. City Council speaker candidates support citywide diversity audit. <sighs> okay, so this is uh, Jimmy, Jimmy Van Brammer. Brammer, right? He's going to be... He's the, uh, I don't know, whatever. He's the he's leading up the city council on this thing and what they want to do. The next city council speaker. That's what he's up for. Speaker may force all city agencies to conduct extensive diversity audits. The critics fear that the unreliable headcounts could be the first step towards hiring quotas. Okay, now quotas in this respect are not. They're not they're not technically illegal in the same under the same laws of law enforcement. These are discriminatory quotas, which of course they're discrimination. When you say, okay, all all the all the people of this color step to the front, we're gonna give you a job first, and all those people without color or something else step to the back because we gotta let the people with color and, and the gays and the and everybody else who identifies themselves as something different than straight up male white or 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 straight up black we got to make this diverse and we're going to do everything we can we're going to put all all of your college education and all of your skills throw that shit in the garbage because it doesn't matter here what we want to do is we want to we want to we want to enforce our our will on you because we may got to make it diverse right what do we see in dsny enforcement it's all you walk in it's 100 percent black what, how, how did that policy work out? So, so here we go. Seven of the eight speaker candidates say they support Queens Councilman Jim Van Buren proposal to mandate audits of the city workforce, including gender, race, and sexual orientation of public employees. Okay, right. Look, we already know that. Well, how about this? Okay, how about this? How about enforce the actual laws? that we already have, right? See, I'm not a fan of, you know, special counselors and like Mueller and these guys. That, when, when, you have to, when you have to do a special counsel or you have to add something that doesn't exist, some sort of enforcement that doesn't exist, that means that the people in place are not doing their job, right? See, you don't have to audit. You don't have to audit. You already have the discriminatory laws in place article 15 discriminatory law discriminatory law in 1964 new york state division of human rights new york city commission on human rights you have all these things in place but they're not enforced because they're infiltrated with 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 far left racists and radical kind of thinkers and and um you don't have to do this sort of thing the other thing is this okay so 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 if if they find that there's not enough Right, if they do this audit and they find that there's not enough gays, for example. So if I were to, 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 to walk in and pretend that I'm, you know, flamboyantly gay, then, oh, you, everybody looks, you look so fabulous. Right? If I were to, you know, and I'm not, I have plenty of gay friends. I'm not mocking gay people. I'm just saying that some gay people act like that, right? Right? So, right? So, but if I wanted the job, all I have to do is pretend that I'm ultra gay, super gay, right? And then I would get that job. Is that is that what you're setting us up for? And then and then what you have is right because because the person, the gay person could still be white or black or male or female, but because they're gay, they move into a different category of people. Look what's going on. Enforce the discriminatory laws first, right? They're not being enforced. The courts are sitting on their hands with this stuff. Even when you run it into them, they're they're impotent in addressing the problem. So I don't know. I just I, I would I read the article. I think it's like you know I agree that it is it is a waste of time and it, it is a waste of money, right? I don't know. What do you think? I, I'm not. I'm not really sure. But I, I. I. just think that you have to. You have to enforce the existing laws first, before you start 
you know, reinventing other things to look at and creating all these expensive audits. So that's all I want to say about that. Peace out.